Hello, I am Mal, and welcome back to Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. We're going to continue where we left off, or more apropos, where I said I was going to let leave off. So we're going to go to the Temple of Titan here, and we are going to use the back entrance. Here, let me show you here. So normally you'd have to, like, walk around over here, and you'd have to go talk to the folks, um, the Mad Monks, and you'd have to give them the uh, sludge that you collected from the uh, Canyon of Titan. Now, if you were kind of a good guy, you had a, uh, a monk apprentice with you and you didn't cause any trouble for them, then you can just hand them these three containers and they'll let you stroll on in. Uh, if you created some trouble like I did, you can still get in, but what he'll tell you is that you need six containers. And so he'll give you some more empty ones. You can go fill them up and then you can go back. Now, since we're aligning ourselves or have aligned ourselves so far with the Diamondback Militia, we're not gonna worry about dealing with any of that stuff. And what we're going to do is head this way. Now, there are some raiders and stuff up here that you can fight. And I probably will do it for experience. There's also some over here as well. Um, but I think I'm going to skip that for now and just go ahead and go down here. And as you can see here, there's some folks right here. So I'll go up, talk to her. Oh, we already did. Okay. Let's open this up. Locked. All right. 61% chance. All right. Well, let's hope we don't fail it. I guess we can always blow it open if we have to. There we go. No problem. Okay, so let's head on in. Alright, so now let's take a look here. Mm-hmm. Some monks right there. Let's back away. Okay, yeah, the monk suiciders are kind of a problem. So what we're gonna try to do here is just sort of avoid these guys. Move past them. I'm glad I'm not down here alone. Okay, let's move away from this guy there. I'm pretty sure they'll go hostile on us. Maybe not. Yeah, they will. Okay, that's what I thought. Gunner. Gunslinger. Gunner. Don't know what that one is over there. Any others? Okay, let's see. How do we want to do this? I'd rather not have to fight all of the monks down here, if we can keep from it, but... If we have to, we have to. I'm not overly concerned. Let's see, you're a gunslinger? Okay, I'm not too concerned about you, but... This gunner here needs to die, so let's do this. Take this cover point here... And chance to hit this guy in the head? 69%. How many hit points does he have? 65. Alright, just shoot him. There we go. Nice shot. Alright, move up. Oh, okay. That's a problem. The Suicider is a problem. Okay, so let's see. How do we want to do this? Uh, hmm. This isn't good. This is actually pretty bad. Okay. Well, actually, I think I know what I'll do. Alright, you move up here. Shoot this guy. Nope, didn't finish him off. Okay. That's unfortunate. We're gonna shoot a rocket at these guys. Yep, uh, that's what we're gonna do. How many hit points? 65, huh? Alright, well, we're gonna have to do this. Shoot him. For some damage. There we go. Nice. 
and then there we go we just didn't we didn't have a choice there and that's okay that's why we've got these things with us so mm, we're gonna be hurt after this fight okay get rid of that guy there we go nice shot slide down here There we go. Well, actually, that wasn't too bad in the grand scheme of things. As long as no one else comes in here, we'll be okay. Those guys patrolling don't know this happened, so it should be fine. Okay, let's see. Let's get patched up here real quick. Now, I'm doing... In this campaign, I've kind of done sort of borderline scumbag. I've been more aggressive. If you're looking for the let's be good guy rangers, if you're looking for more of that and really focus more on trying to explore every single story element, then my fifth playthrough, <laughs> the one right before this on ranger difficulty, you might want to check that out. Uh, you would just go to the main channel page, uh, click on created playlists, and you'll find that uh, that there without uh, any problems I don't think okay let's see don't have any loot you guys have no loot that's kind of odd all right grab that grab that oh yeah we can talk to this guy false prophet you've led your children astray tricked them into worshiping a false god right right yes we're, we're aware let's see all right so the deal with this guy is um, he basically explains that, you know, they've been worshipping this nuke, and it's, like, not, it's, it, like, a dud, or what have you. Why do you call the Titan a hollow god? False idol, false prophet. Anola threw me, uh, or, Anola threw me in this so-called prison for speaking the truth of it. His Titan has no warhead, he's lying to his followers. Oh, yeah, is that right? What promise? I would use a true Titan as a threat, he just uses it as a false one. I would not, a true servant of the Mushroom Cloud... Freeze the glow of its prison. True servant sends the glow forth to cleanse the world. Oh, yeah? Looks pretty real from here. Ha! He thinks he's got me trapped. He thinks my holy radiation is contained. I am not trapped. I stand here away from him and disguised his deluded followers. Or disgusted deluded followers. Yeah, disguised deluded followers? That wouldn't make much sense, right? Uh, I can get out anytime I like. Oh, yeah? Uh, what do you mean by true god? There are rumors of another silo. Now, what he's referencing here is another location called Silo 7, which is ultimately where we're going to have to go. Uh, what would you do with a real nuke? Bring Enola, a true titan, and all servants of the Mushroom Cloud will go to the Great Glow. Oh, yeah? Okay. You know, Father Enola? Heretic! That humanist, he's turned back at his back on everything the true servants of the Mushroom Cloud believe in. Okay. All right, well. My mom told me it's not nice to make fun of crazy people. Yeah, well, we won't we won't make fun of him. We'll just move on. Now we could we could free him, but I don't really see the point in doing that. All right, let's take a look. Oh, right, we've got a promotion. Let's call in for that. Copy, Ranger. Echo one. Congratulations. Let's see, what do you have there? You got ten skill points. Um, mechanical repair, I guess. Yeah, why not? Go ahead and commit that. Locked. Okay. We have a seven lock picking skill. Seven. I need to go back to the Canyon of Titan actually and open that one safe because there's a an item there that would help us out with that, a trinket. Yep. Alright, let's move up. Okay, now we should start in start seeing like some traps and stuff like lasers and whatnot. Oh, uh oh. Please tell me that there's no dude with them. Is there a, a okay, hold on, hold on. Is there No, these guys are regular. Okay. Whew. 
Didn't see him. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. Okay, strip off his armor. Thank you. Can I kill both these guys this turn? I probably can, actually. Alright, so let's move here. Take a shot. Take a shot. Oh, I need to do some more healing, looks like. Alright, well, we will. It's not gonna do much. Six, yeah. Okay, in turn. Okay, finish this guy off. There we go. Yeah, I got messed up, man. Look at that. I got seven hit points. Ouch. And you might have something on you. All right. What do you got? Junk. All right, let's use a big med pack. We got plenty of them, so we're fine. I very rarely have to use them, or I have rarely had to use them, so that's good. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have used that big med pack. That was a mistake. Let's reorder these. There we go. Small med pack, large med packs. And let's reload. Yep, disarm that. Okay, back up. We'll have Eve go up and take a look here. Ah, this is another exit. Okay, and this will take you up into like the courtyard or what have you, up upstairs. So we're not going to mess with that. So we don't need to go there. We actually need to go down here is where we need to head. But we'll keep exploring a bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn it. Ah, oh, That's what I was talking about. The alarms. All right, hold on. Let's do this. Let's see if there's more. No, there's not. Okay, well, that was a rough way to unlock them. But that's okay. It happens. It's actually kind of hard when you're controlling the group like this to very quickly stop. And I have it set to always run. Maybe I should set them to walk instead. Yeah, well... Nah, I'll leave it on run. It's fine. Okay, so let's move up here. Examine. Locked? Okay. Is it actually locked? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's unlock it. Let's move up. Uh-huh. Okay. I said I didn't want to fight everybody, and now I'm, like, going in every room and trying to shoot them all. So let's do this, then. Let's back up. Mm-hmm. Like so. And let's put... Attack, you can hang out right there. Ralphie can hang out right here. Christy, you move back over there out of line of sight in case someone needs a heal. Eve, you hang out right there. Go ahead and crouch. I will hang out over here and crouch. Ralphie, go here, attack, move over here, and then Bear is... I guess you can hang out, like, right here. Okay, and then Bear will go down and start the fight, and then maybe we can draw them towards us. A lot of times it doesn't work, unfortunately, like this. Yeah, see, sight blocked. Like, what exactly is blocking his sight? I'm not entirely sure, but... 
I guess that thing is. Okay, can we shoot you? Yep. Okay, so encounter started. And we're going to run back and hope that they come our way. The AI is a little iffy when it comes to stuff like this. Sometimes they'll actually pursue you and sometimes they won't. We'll see if in Director's Cut here it's any better. Well, it looks like they're coming towards us. Shoot him in the legs. Let's see if we can keep him right there. Or just kill him, that works. Radiation hit anyone? Nope, we're far enough back. Perfect. All right, ambush. In turn, set ambush. Okay, in turn, back up a little bit. Let's check range on this thing. Yep, yeah, okay. In turn, got a shot at anybody there, Bubba? Yeah, you do. All right, shoot him in the legs. Nice, in turn. Ambush. Nope, missed. Yeah, that guy can really move. Hey, yeah, he's gunslinger guys. Let's see, okay. Okay, shoot him in the torso. Shoot him in the torso. Okay. In turn. Oh, another nuke guy. Alright, well if we can kill him, it'll kill the guys next to him, so... Hopefully we can make that happen. I like how I have, you know, a lot of times 60-something percent chance to hit, but I mean, if I went back and reviewed the whole campaign, I mean, I basically never hit with the shotgun. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just terrible. Yeah, I mean, it's just, yeah. I really wish I had, and that's why in the uh, quick start uh, updated team guide, I changed it from shotgun uh, to have another um, assault rifle user. And who knows, I, you know, I may change my mind later in the campaign and say, hey, it's great all of a sudden, but so far, not so much with being great. Hmm. Let's do this. Did I get him? Yep, yeah, I got him. Okay, so you can save your rocket and hang out right there. Who's next? That guy's next? Okay, get rid of him then. And in turn, ambush, in turn, ambush, nice hit, Move back, in turn, in turn, and this should do it right here. One shot there, one shot there, there we go. No fuss, no muss. Okay, now let's uh, let's take a look at equipment real quick. All right, let's have that be your secondary. You can switch to a grenade for your primary. Tack, let's do the same thing with you. Um, yeah, grenade for your primary. That works. Okay. Oh, some more promotions. Nice. Let's call Copy in. Copy Ranger Team. Echo. Congratulations. Okay. Let's take a look here. What do we have? Six skill points. Okay, that's going to be demolition. There we go. That's kind of a no-brainer. And then who else? Okay, you're up five. 
So we'll have to wait till next turn, or excuse me, next level. So that's a push. Uh, you know what? Go ahead and heal him up again. All right, let's go loot. Maybe we got something good here. Well, that's not bad. Um, okay, well, I'll just grab it all. Yeah, HK-33. How does that stack up against the M16 again? One less AP to fire. So that would be a useful assault rifle for Eve if I focus her on debuffing targets, but I don't really want to do that. Nah, I, I don't think so. Okay, grab that. Grab that. Okay, let's go ahead and break these down. Long barrel. Nice. Broken parts. Now you have a long barrel. Yep. Okay. How about this one? Long barrel. I don't think any of these other weapons support that. No, they don't. Okay, so we have a spare long barrel, I guess. Alright. Guess we can sell it. Such a shame, actually. Sheesh. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, so let's move Piz up a little bit. Here, let's undo this. Okay. I'm gonna have her check this room out for us. Guess there's any more traps. I don't think there is. Well, I guess there's the uh, an alarm there. Okay. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. All right. Okay, let's move the team in then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. All right. Let's crack that safe. nice. Some miscellaneous stuff here. Take that. Take that. Plus one outdoorsman. I think that's the second one of those trinkets we had. Speaking of which, as far as outdoorsman, it is useful. Very useful in the second half of the game. So someone will end up picking it up in this group. And I'm, I haven't decided 100% who I'm going to have do that. But uh, I was leaning towards having Tack do it. But it gets so few skill points per level. Oh, the BAR heavy weapon, huh? Interesting. Well, we'll break that down. And an M16. Yeah. Should have gone with another assault rifle user. I should have done it. That's okay, though. I do kind of like having the diversity of weapons. It's kind of fun. What do we got? 762? Okay, let's hold on to that. Like that. Now, again, uh, ammo like that, like for instance the 7.62. Yeah, I don't have any weapons right now that can use that. And I've even purchased some additional 7.62 uh, NATO uh, ammo here and there. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm stockpiling it for the second half of the game when I will likely have weapons that will use it. Okay, alarm disarm. Mm-hmm. Maybe I should take Ghost on her. I guess I could. That perk. And then lockpick. Failure. No, no, no. Open that thing. There we go. Alright, now back up. Alright, and we'll send Piz forward. Just sort of scope it out for us. 
No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, that's why I sent her forward. Okay, so let's grab our demolitions person here. It's also a little tricky with the camera sometimes. Like, you'll hear the sound, but you won't see the beam. Now, you can shoot these, or you can just disarm them, which I think is the better way to go. Alright, and then let's move forward a little bit. Ah, this actually takes us to the... Okay. So, down here takes us to the silo where the... Um, the weapon that doesn't have a warhead is. But this is important because this is where we pick up the depleted uranium. There's also a big uh, fight that happens with that Father Anola guy. Mm-hmm. But I don't remember if there's any more... I don't think there's any more bombs or anything this way, like traps or what have you. Okay. Let's highlight everyone and head in there. He comes to confront us because we know the truth about what's going on. Not to mention the fact that we're like, you know... Golly, look at the size of that rocket! Not to mention the fact that we're intruders, but beyond that, he's more concerned about... Uh, the, the other problem, which is that he can't afford to have people find out. Alright, 61% chance to crack that, huh? Okay. I think that's with a... Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's that skill level? Let's just double check this. Uh, I think, what, a 6? 7! 7 safe cracking. So you really need to have your skills you know, in the 7 or 8 range to, to have a chance in here, folks. So, you want to bear that in mind. 10% chance to crit fail? Well, okay. Guess we'll try it once. Got it! Nice. Alright. Grab that, grab that, and another broken toy robot. I keep, I keep getting the same um, trinkets, which is kind of unfortunate. Should get something new. Okay, let's see. What did we just... what? What, we saw something? Saw something, what? Hitting the Z key, I don't see anything special. The toaster's over here, I know that. Yeah, right here. Okay, we've got 100%, and that is with, I think, an 8 skill? Yeah, an 8 toaster repairs. And you, so you absolutely... You don't get any other toasters, and, and there's there's other toasters that'll get you special things, like if you get the hemorrhoid cream for Saddler, the leader of the Diamondback Militia, then he'll give you a special sniper rifle or whatever. There are other things that are cool, don't get me wrong, but this is hands down the best one. You want to get this. And this is why. The depleted uranium. The other stuff, hey, that's nice, but the depleted uranium is the important thing. You give that to Mer Captain, and then you get that special energy weapon. Okay, so let's grab that, let's grab that, let's grab that. Max 17, that's a nice weapon. Yep. Yeah, we'll hold on to that. We might just sell it. Okay. Um, all right. Okay, here we go. Hold your fire, Rangers. I want to talk with you. Okay. That sounds good. I don't really like our positioning here for this fight. We're all bunched up. They've discovered a little secret. Titan is a museum piece. Decommissioned. God stripped it of its power. That's bad. Under normal circumstances, I would kill you to protect our version of the truth. Fortunately for you, I'm in need of skilled men now, and I'm prepared to offer you a way out of your death sentence. You're willing to do a little job. Will you hear me out? 
Uh, yeah, no, I won't. Okay, so now we're gonna have to fight everyone. As long as their grenader guy can't throw anything. They have a grenadier with them? Let's see. No, they don't! Wait, hold on. Monk Basher, Gunner, Cutter... No, they don't! Okay, well this should be fine then. Yep, okay, let's see. Uh, go ahead and crouch. And let's see. Although Nola's got a lot of hit points, wow. Okay, let's strip some of his armor off. There we go, in the turn. And then... Move up a little bit. How much armor do you have remaining? Two? Alright, let's strip some of that off. Nope. Alright, try shooting him in the hands. There we go. Good. Less dangerous than he would have been. Are they shooting at green guy? They are shooting at the little green goober. Okay. Not gonna be able to get a shot here, because we've got this space in between us. So, I'm actually just gonna move back a little bit, and... Crouch, I guess? Um, let's see. Christy, definitely get back. Yeah, she doesn't need to be involved in this. Okay, and now... Uh, yep, oh, there we- oh, that's very pretty. Explosives time! That was... super sexy. Is what that was. Okay, slide over here. And hopefully we'll be able to duplicate that with this. Can you move a little bit? Just get a little closer. Uh, you should be able to. Why? Are you blocked? Alright, well, we'll take the shot we can get then. Nice. Okay, now move back. Move over there. Take a shot. Out of range. Okay, shoot that guy then. This is going really well, actually. You guys are gonna run around to us? Okay. I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay, sniper shot. Can you hit either of these guys? Nope, not yet. Okay, let's see. Shoot him in the legs. Okay, so you won't be coming to visit us. Hey, okay, out of range. This guy's not, though, so hello. Nice. Last time I did this fight in the previous LP, I remember getting hurt, like, quite a bit. I got beat up bad. So this, the way this fight started, actually ended up being really good. Mm, I'm not be able to get, well, I guess I could reposition to here. Am I going to be in range? Yeah, okay. Not going to hit anything, but, you know, that's a different story, right? Camera angle's really weird in here. Um, I guess I guess go back there and be out of line of sight. Do I want to use a grenade? No, I don't think so. Okay, go into your inventory and grab your hatchet. Move up to the far side and smash this guy in the face. There we go. That'll screw up his aim, too. We've already messed his aim up by debuffing him, but, I mean, it'll screw it up even more. Because he's having to deal with the fact that somebody's in melee range to him, right? So that's nice. Okay, this guy... Hmm. Okay, shoot him in the arms. There we go, nice. Now he's unlikely to hit anything. Okay, let's see if we can get rid of him. Who goes next? Oh, you do? Okay, I gotta finish you now, then. See ya. Okay, in turn. Move up. And... 
Oh, nice. I actually hit something for once. Okay. In turn... Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can get rid of that guy, Bear. Nice. Good shot, buddy. I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't switch to the bullpup... Um, sniper rifle that I have back at the base. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. That's nasty. That was awesome. Okay, and then we got, what, a guy over here that can't move? Right. Okay, shoot him. Okay, move over. You in range? Yep. That guy wish, that guy really wishes that he could move. He's like, I want to kill somebody, but yeah, it's not going to happen. Nope. Not going to happen. You're going to die. Probably right here. And there we have it. And I hope that alarm stops. Can I, can I actually, like... Hold on, can I deactivate it, maybe? Zero. Anywhere in here I can do that? That would be great. Well, in any case, I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut here in the video. We'll pick it up in the next one, because this one's gotten long enough. And hopefully I'll have gotten out of this area where this stupid alarm's at. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this, and if you did, consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I am Mal, and I'll see you later.